This is an exhibition at a not-for-profit space called uh, Five Miles. It's a show uh, co-curated by Shalada Kotek, a former uh, director at the Brooklyn Museum, and Hannah Tierney, who's the uh, director and co-curator uh, of this show. And uh, 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 she's the uh, director at Five Miles. And the show here has a focus on ar architectural design and abstraction. Throughout 2020, would you say that your practice has been, been conducting normally or did you feel any sort of emotional um, bypass from that? Well, <clears throat> As soon as the pandemic hit, I stayed away from the studio mm -hmm. for a little bit okay. and actually started to do collage work at home. Mm -hmm. And I joined uh, a group mm -hmm. of other artists, a socially distant group, and it was really fascinating mm -hmm. and we did a lot of zoom mm -hmm. connection like the rest of the world right. and then i got back into the studio mm -hmm. and then i just started working again wow and this was one of the paintings mm -hmm. that was created during that time so i just mm -hmm. jumped back into <clears throat> the art making process mm -hmm. and i also what I did is I did an assessment okay. of all the different things that I would need to do right. to move forward. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I had lost my job of 25 years at the School of Visual Arts, so wow. I had some concerns of how to um, bring an income. I, you know, just took a look at all my skills and talents besides creating art. Mm -hmm as well as creating art right. and um, every day I'm busy mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, looking at different grants, artist grants. So what the pandemic did for me, it sent me into action as opposed to freezing up and mm -hmm. not doing. I also go on NIFA oh. every day and I apply to everything mm -hmm. that's appropriate for me to apply up for. Mm -hmm. And I have gotten into a number of shows and I've actually showed more during wow. this year than I've shown in former years. Um, Money-wise, mm -hmm. it's been challenging, right. but as an artist, I've really grown during this period of time. Do you think that you have um, like a roadmap as to where you're planning on next? I work with a artist coach okay. and she just sent me a wonderful grant mm -hmm. and I have three different grants that I'm nice. working on that I'm going to apply for right. and I also am going to create new work. Mm -hmm. I don't have places for the new work. Mm -hmm. I've never worked that way. I've always painted and mm -hmm. if I find places and spaces for that work. Right. Great. Um, I told you I'm going to do larger work than this. I want to do pieces 90 by 120. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, am, I am too. Um, usually what happens is if I haven't painted for a few weeks, mm -hmm. I start painting in my head right. and the colors start coming together. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm in that phase right now. So that's what's happening. So that's kind of my mental roadmap. Mm -hmm. I'm also doing everything possible, again, like I said, to look at every skill imaginable that I have. Mm -hmm. I have a history teaching. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have all kinds of skills, and I'm looking at using every one of them right. to keep the money coming in, mm -hmm. um, selling my work with people like Elizabeth, I have many different avenues uh, that I, I'm always looking 
avenues to sell my work. But I want to ask you, going back a little bit, so you are a part of an artist group that you said that during the pandemic you were doing video chats with. How did you come to find this group? Like on at night. Oh, okay. And okay. this lovely <laughs> woman, Patricia Kaladinitis, <laughs> She put out a call for artists to wow. come together mm -hmm. because of the isolation that everyone was feeling. Right. And there's a meeting tonight mm -hmm. and whoever wants to come together and we're planning an exhibition oh, wow. um, right now <clears throat> of, because we've been meeting now for months. Right. Um, so it really has been a lifesaver to meet artists uh, all from all over the country mm -hmm. doing all different kind of work mm -hmm. and talking about the issues about being isolated. It's been interesting yeah. too because I'm and I don't I don't know why I bring this up, but it is interesting to me. I'm the oldest mm -hmm. one in the group and I don't know why older artists <clears throat> were not drawn to this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we had topics that people wanted to talk about, mm -hmm. not just about and what does it mean like, I didn't go to the studio for months. And what is that like? How do you create suddenly art at home? Mm -hmm. What's that like? I do this, and suddenly I was creating um, collage. Mm -hmm. So it was a whole new world for me to enter. Do you have a message to artists out there who are going through a freeze in their career or someone who may be stuck? Do you have any words of advice? I think... It's important if you have a need inside yourself to express something in whatever form to give yourself the time and space and place to do it and to take away all the judgment. Mm -hmm. Completely. And um, not to worry um, about other people's judgments. How difficult it is sometimes when people are so talented and they have something that stops them from feeding themselves with something so important mm -hmm. and not giving that gift to themselves. Thank Same you time. so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay. Yay, we did it. <laughs>